Hey everybody, welcome back to the Medina County, Texas GMRS YouTube channel. <clears throat> Wanted to do a quick video for you on how we utilize Google Earth uh, to look at some of the terrain between all of our houses uh, to the repeater uh, that we have here near Castroville, Texas. Um, let me just kind of give you a brief overview of how we use it. So the way I have it set up, I have a few layers put on now, of course, the location of the repeater. Uh, then we have the coverage area of the repeater. And what you would do, one of my buddies, uh, he works down here near Lytle. If you wanted to see the terrain between the repeater and where he uh, works, it's pretty simple. You would come up here and click the ruler. You would drop a pin. You can zoom all the way in on it. You could drop a pin on the repeater and then bring it down to about where he works. You could get as detailed as you want. I'm just going to drop it here. I'm going to try to drop it here. There we go. We dropped it there. Then you're going to click save. And you're going to put repeater to Aaron's work and click save. It'll, it'll turn red and you can zoom out and you'll come over here to the left to your places uh, menu and you're going to right click on the line that you just made and go down and put uh, and click show elevation profile. It'll take just a second to calculate but as you can see so the starting point was the repeater at 967 feet. And you can see the elevation going all the way down to where Aaron works. So the highest point is 993, the repeater sitting at 967. So it does have to get up and over that hill. Uh, the nice thing is pretty much from here all the way to his place of work, it's it's all downhill, right? So we have pretty good coverage uh, down in that area. So that's one example. Um, as you move your cursor along the graph here at the bottom, it puts an arrow on the screen for where you are. So you can kind of get an idea. Let me clear that one off and I'll show you another one. You notice it kind of tilts on you as you um, when you draw the line so my wife works at the Hondo Airport right over here so I'm gonna drop a pin at the repeater or drop a point at the repeater come over here to the airport click save repeater to Hondo Airport Click OK, come over here, right click, show elevation profile. Now, this is backwards, right? Because the Hondo Airport's over here, but on the graph, it's over here. So just remember that it's backwards. As I mentioned in my last video, my, uh, my, my simple mind doesn't, doesn't do opposite directions very well, but I finally got it figured out. So once again, 975 uh, at the repeater, the highest point again. It's a little more than Aaron's work. It's about 1,000 feet. This is pretty cool right here. You see this dip that drops down all the way to 801. Uh, no, it was 7, 796. So you can zoom in on that point, and it's Hondo Creek. So, it, it, I mean, it gets that detailed on this graph. So you can kind of see it there with the big red arrow on the, on the screen. So zoom back out. And then downhill, a little uphill, and they sit at 921. But we have this, this little hill, that 1,000 feet that's in the way. Uh, believe it or not, uh, on the video I did on the KG905G GMRS radio, I can, it's clear as day from the repeater all the way to the Hondo airport, even with that 
hill in front of us. So kind of gives you an idea. I know I've mentioned the terrain that we deal with uh, out in that area a lot. And so you kind of get to see it here. I'll give you another example. One of my buddies, he lives right outside San Antonio over this way. I want to show you his profile. Let's see. Let me turn that one off. And it's Don's to Tony's. So fairly short distance, right? About the same as the Hondo Airport. Um, but check this terrain out. It is wicked. So the repeaters here at the 965, you have the 1,000-foot hill. Huge drop-off. If any of y'all have ever been to Castorville, that the hill going up uh, uh, to, the, to the hotel at the top of the hill in, in Castorville, that's about a 200-foot hill. Um, but then you see all of this pretty much after Casterville, all the way to his house. So there is no getting out on a HT from his house without standing on his roof. No, we're in the process of putting him a, uh, a pole up on the house. We're going to get him a Ed Fong antenna. I have an extra uh, Dr. Ed Fong antenna sitting around that we're going to get over to him. Might even try a Yagi. Uh, not quite sure what we're going to do yet, but We'll test some things out. We'll we'll make him cook us some steaks and uh, have a antenna raising party. We refer to that as an erection party. Uh, it's probably not the right thing to call it, but it's kind of funny when you say it in public and everybody just looks at you weird. So, um, hope this helps some of you. Uh, Dave, I I give all the credit to Dave for teaching me how to do this. Um, You'll learn as these videos go on that I'm doing good to uh, send a text from my cell phone. So uh, Dave is is kind of the brains of the group. Um, and, and one of the things I want to do soon is kind of explain to you who everybody in the group is. It, it We got a pretty diverse group of guys and uh, we're all kind of each other's yin to our yang. I mean, it's it, it's it's funny to see us actually do something because everybody has an idea and uh, everybody contributes. Uh, it, it's a great group. I love these guys. So anyways, just wanted to make a quick video for you. I hope y'all have a great evening. Uh, another hot day here in Texas. I'm sitting in here in the hotel in Houston, uh, enjoying the air conditioner. Y'all stay safe. We appreciate you watching these videos and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one. Have a good one.